Have you booked or planning to book a celebrity cruise? I'll review all of the dining options for you here today, and there are slight differences between the three main classes of celebrity ships, but there's also a lot of similarities across the entire brand. Stay tuned for all of the details today on Seymour Seas. Hi everyone and welcome. I really wanted to make this video because of our most recent sailing on the Celebrity Equinox. It was in May of 2023 and the biggest motivation is that the buffet on the Equinox completely blew us away. The main dining room experience was also very, very good and the specialty restaurants were fantastic. I will touch on that experience, but this video is going to give you a full guide of each of the three main classes of ship, which is the Millennium, the Solstice, and the Edge class. We wanted to go on this cruise because we had a very disappointing experience on another line just a couple of months before. The service and the food were very much below average, and it was quite disappointing. We wanted to leave that one behind us and have another great experience on Celebrity. I will leave links at the end of this video as well as in the description below of both the full Equinox review and ship score as well as Holland America's Eurodam, which was our disappointing experience just a few months ago. Hi, if you're new here, I am Doug, and this is Seymour Seas, your cruise tips and planning channel, where I hope to help you and your family pick, plan, and enjoy your next cruise vacation. If you do find this video helpful in any way, as always, please do give it that thumbs up, and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. On another note, if you've been watching the channel, I am happy to announce that I am now able to help you plan and fully book and manage your cruise reservation. So please contact me at the email below for full details and cruise planning and booking. Thanks so much and let's get started. When you are on a cruise, there are various dining options available to you. The first is going to be all of the complimentary venues that are included in your base cruise fare at no additional charge. Then you're gonna have specialty dining options. Specialty dining are those venues that have an added fee and they normally have a little bit elevated level of cuisine as well as service. Then you will have a la carte pay-as-you-go venues, but we are gonna start with the complimentary venues available to you as part of your cruise fare. The first complimentary venue we'll talk about is the main dining room. The main dining room is included in your base cruise fare and it is open for breakfast and dinner as well as lunch on sea days. Now for dinner, on Celebrity, there's going to be three different choices available. You can have a fixed seating, which is going to be early, which is at 6 o'clock, or late seating, which is at 8.30. Now, this is going to be the same table and the same wait staff in the main dining room every night of the cruise. Now, you also have the option of Celebrity Select My Time Dining. Now what this is, is that you can walk up to the dining room at the correct location and eat anytime between 5.30 and I believe it's 9 p.m. Now one thing that I highly recommend is that if you are doing my time dining, that you make a reservation prior to sailing for each of the evenings at the time that works best for you. Now in the main dining room, Every night, you're going to have a different menu. It changes daily. Now, you also will have classic items available to you on the menu that are the same every day. Unlike the sister brand Royal Caribbean, Celebrity, at least on our last sailing, has kept the classic items, which is normally like shrimp cocktail, escargot, Caesar salad for a starter, 
and then in the entree section, you're gonna have your salmon or fish, your New York strip steak, your roasted chicken, and normally a vegetarian option. So those are gonna be available to you every day, and then there's going to be something new on the menu every night. Now on the Millennium and Solstice class, you're gonna have one main, very large, multi-level dining room. On the Edge class, they did things a little differently where they still have main dining rooms for fixed and early seating, but one of the things that they did is they split the big one large dining room into four different venues. You have the Tuscan, which is going to be an Italian themed dining room. You're gonna have Cosmopolitan, which is going to be more contemporary dining. You will have Normandy, which is more classic old school cruise fare. And then you have Cyprus, which is gonna be Mediterranean or Greek influenced based on celebrities' Greek heritage of starting out as a Greek cruise line. Those restaurants are going to have, again, the same items every night, changing daily, but each of those influenced dining rooms will have a item or two that is specific to either the Italian, the classic, the Greek influence, you're gonna have a few items to choose from that are specific to that dining room. If you do have fixed seating, you are gonna be assigned one of those dining rooms, but you can make arrangements to eat in the other dining rooms upon request. As a side note, if you do have any food allergies or sensitivities, make sure you go to the main dining room upon boarding and speak to the maitre d' and let them know about these allergies or sensitivities. They will absolutely take care of you and accommodate you. They will also allow you to order tomorrow's dinner upon completion of your current meal. This allows you to take a look at tomorrow's menu and make your selections so that the kitchen and the chef can meet all of your dietary requirements. Celebrity does have two additional classes of staterooms for their guests, and each of these have their own dedicated separate main dining room. The first is aqua class. So if you are in aqua class, your dedicated dining room is called blue. Blue is a very beautiful uh, area of the ship. It's a very small, intimate dining room and is exclusive for aqua class customers. The cuisine there is more clean, upgraded from the main dining room and the service levels are also a little bit upgraded and more intimate than you would find in the main dining room. The other class of service is the retreat. The retreat are the suites on board. So anything sky suite and above, you have your own dedicated dining room called Lumine. Lumine is a upgraded experience uh, from the main dining room. It does have a separate upgraded menu. However, if you are in the retreat, you do still have full access to that evening's main dining room menu. Both venues do not require reservations. They are walk-up and aqua class and lumine. They will know you by name and they will seat you with your preferences. One thing to note is that if you are in a suite and you are in lumine, you can request to visit Blue as well. The next complimentary venue is the Buffet. This is extremely popular on all cruises and it can get very crowded at times. On Celebrity, what we love about this is that it is designed in stations format, meaning that all of the different types of foods are in different areas of the buffet. There is not one long counter or a few long counters where everybody has to get in line just to walk by to see what's available. You're easily able to see what is available in each of the different sections and lines do not normally happen and it's very easy to get in and out of each of those areas. 
Now, all of the areas are split into various themes as well as food items. For instance, you have a pasta section which has all different types of pastas. They have all different types of sauces and these are made to order for you. It's absolutely fantastic. The made to order sections are abundant within the Celebrity Cruise Buffet. You're going to have at lunch and dinner, uh, the burgers, the hot dogs, the steaks, the chicken, all of this is going to be made to order for you. They also have specialty salads area where they will make fresh Caesar salad for each and every person. And then obviously there is a very, very large salad bar where you're able to make your own salad. Same thing with meats and cheeses. There's going to be a huge selection of different types of very quality cheeses and meats, as well as tons of different types of bread that is made daily. In this section, you're going to find pre-made sandwiches, normally with a, a panini press, if you want that sandwich heated up, or the person at that station will actually make you a sandwich using the bread, the meats, and the cheeses, and the toppings that you require. There is a pizza section. This dough is made fresh right in front of you, rolled out, and a variety of pizzas are going to be hot and available to you throughout the lunchtime, afternoons, and evenings. During breakfast time, you're going to have an Eggs Benedict section for you where they make it for you fresh right in front of you. The classic Benedict, crab, Florentine, a number of different items. And if you do not want Benedict, that's another great place to go get a fresh poached egg. They will have fried egg options for you, make your own omelet section for you. So those are all available during the breakfast times as well. You're going to have a lot of international choices available to you as well, such as Asian, Mexican, a lot of different curries for Indian food. And then you're going to have a carvery section that's available that has a different large piece of meat available every day. This ranges from prime rib to leg of lamb to pork roast, as well as one day on the recent cruise, we had a large gyro on a spit available with all of the different toppings and choices available. In that carvery section, you're also going to have a lot of choices of roasted chicken, fried chicken. A few days there was a lot of different types of paella in that area. So you're going to have a lot of traditional as well as non-traditional hot food items in that section of that station. In the cheeses section, normally you're going to have different types of hummus as well as, car as carpaccio available. We had the standard beef carpaccio as well as we had some tuna and other meats as well available in that section that was very, very good and extremely impressive. There were also a number of different uh, pâtés available with Cristini's um, right beside that, which I really, really enjoyed. One area of the buffet not to miss is the ice cream section on Celebrity. This is complimentary. There is soft serve as well as lots of different ice creams and toppings as well as cookies available in that section. The dessert areas on board are absolutely fantastic as well. I don't think I've ever seen a cruise ship buffet have as many different types of fresh desserts available every single afternoon and evening. Celebrities Buffet is one or two steps above almost other cruise lines that we have sailed. So one of the things that really sets Celebrity apart is the buffet. So make sure that you take advantage. And one of the tips that I have is that in the back of the buffet, outside, there is additional seating. There's also drink stations back there, along with a bar that are normally not very crowded at all. So please take advantage of that. And if it's a beautiful day, it's a great place to have breakfast, lunch, and even dinner. 
there is additional complimentary food available on board. There is a mast grill beside the pool, which serves really, really good hamburgers and hot dogs, along with fries and sometimes rings that are made to order and they allow you to select whatever toppings that you want for your burger and your dogs. Also, there is the Spa Cafe. This is normally inside the solarium, which is adults only. And this is where you're gonna have healthier, smaller bites. It's really good for a very light breakfast with muffins and fruit and other items. During lunchtime and in the afternoon, you normally have various salads, small sandwiches, and this is also where you're going to go get smoothies. If you have the drink package, it is included in the drink packages or it is available also for a small additional fee. On the Edge Class ships, you'll find the Eden Cafe is also an area that is complimentary and you're able to have small sandwiches there, salads made for you, paninis, as well as some takeaway items as well. This is located in the Eden section of the ship. Cafe El Baccio is going to have snacks available all day long, sometimes small sandwiches, lots of different types of cakes and desserts, and this is also where you're gonna find the complimentary cookies on board. So make sure you grab one as you walk by. Specialty coffees are gonna be additional fee, but if you have the drink package, they are included. And in that same area, you're going to find a gelato area which is an additional fee, and there are various types of gelato served in a number of different ways. Let's move on now to specialty dining. Specialty dining on Celebrity is abundant, and there are several options. These are venues that have an upcharge or fee to dine, and to be honest, I feel that Celebrity probably has some of the highest priced specialty dinings in the mass market or premium market. We've gone to many specialty restaurants on celebrity ships, and it is normally a very, very good experience. On all Solstice class ships, the top specialty dining restaurant is Murano. This is a fine dining experience. It's very intimate with extremely high levels of service, choreographed in a very over-the-top way. It is great for special occasions. We've been there a number of times, and it is always a fantastic experience. Another great restaurant on Solstice Class and Millennium Class is Tuscan Grill. Tuscan Grill is themed around an Italian steakhouse, so it has absolutely fantastic steaks. It also has really great pastas. The charcuterie board is huge. It has a lot of very specialized items on the menu, and we've dined at Tuscan Grill many times. It is normally on Solstice class ships at the aft, and each time that we have dined there, we had a table for two right on the window overlooking the wake of the ship, and it's a great experience. On all ships, you're going to have La Petite Chef. Now, La Petite Chef is a very, very unique experience using some really cool technology. It will project a little tiny chef onto your table and to your plate, and it does kind of a dinner theater show for you for each of the courses of the meal. It is something that you really do need to experience once. I finally did it on our last cruise on the Equinox and I enjoyed myself quite a bit. The meal was a fixed menu. However, there are uh, substitutions if for whatever reason the fixed item in the starter, the entree, or the dessert does not meet your needs. So there are options available um, rather than just the fixed uh, meal that they have on the menu. But overall, it's a fantastic experience and exclusive, I believe, to Celebrity Cruises. 
Now also on the solstice class, on the silhouette and on the reflection, the two last uh, solstice class that were built, they have replaced the glass blowing demonstration with the lawn club grill. It is located at the top of the ship, it's outside dining, and it is also a steak restaurant with fantastic meals. They also have some really, really great flatbreads, salads, and it is a really exceptional experience. They used to have the ability for the guest to accompany the grill master and help grill their steaks, but I don't believe that they're doing that anymore. If anybody knows differently or you've experienced that, please leave me a comment below. Also on the silhouette and the reflection, they've added the porch to the lawn club, which is right around the corner from the lawn club grill. This is a great place for lunch. It has a lot of seafood offerings such as lobster rolls, crab cakes, and a lot of other light seafood type dishes. It is also a specialty restaurant and has an added fee. On both Solstice Class, Millennium, as well as the Edge Class, you're also going to find an inside seafood restaurant. On Solstice and Millennium, it's going to be sushi on five, and then on the Edge Class, it's going to be raw on five. We have been to both of these, and they are great for lunch or a light dinner. These are a la carte, so it is not a flat fee. You pay as you go for your sushi items. And one time on the edge in Raw on Five, we got the seafood tower seen here and we used our onboard credit to pay for that. I think it was $75, but it was well worth it. So on Edge Class, Specialty Dining has a few different venues. Instead of the Lawn Club Grill, the steakhouse on top of the ship at the Lawn Club, the Edge Class has the Rooftop Garden Grill, which is also a steakhouse, but it also provides for different types of barbecue, chicken wings, and it's also an outdoor venue. You'll also find Eden on Edge Class ships. The Eden restaurant obviously is located the after the ship in Eden, and it's a very innovative approach to dining. It has some very, very cool, innovative dishes, very similar to what you'd find on Wonderland on Royal Caribbean ships. Le Grand Bistro is also located on Edge Class ships, and this is inside, and it's normally during the day a French bistro with baguettes and sandwiches and salads and various pastries and baked goods for the morning and afternoon times. But at night, it transforms itself into La Petite Chef. So this is where La Petite Chef is held on Edge Class ships. Edge Class also has a fine dining steakhouse in the Fine Cut Steakhouse. This replaces Tuscan Grill, but at a little bit of a higher fine dining level. It's an absolutely great place to have dinner, and obviously they have tremendous steaks and seafood. On Edge Class, there is a top level fine dining specialty restaurant called Le Voyage, and it is a brand new concept. It is a globally themed restaurant with global fare, allowing you to sample items from around the world without leaving your table. We have not dined here yet, but all of the reviews that I've seen so far is that it is similar to Murano, kind of over the top level of service, as well as absolutely fantastic uh, cuisine and meals. So finally on Edge Class, you have dining on the edge, which is dining on the magic carpet. So the magic carpet goes up to its highest deck, which I believe is deck 16, and there is a fixed dining time there on the magic carpet, which weather permitting is supposed to be an absolutely outstanding experience. I'd love to try it sometime soon. 
So there's obviously so much to choose from on a celebrity cruise ship, and most of the items are complimentary, but there are some really great specialty dining options available. So if you've made it this far, I've got a couple tips for you. For main dining, make sure that you order a couple starters. Don't be afraid to share an entree if you want to try something new. Also, if you have my time dining, make those reservations ahead of time. Inform the maitre d' or the server team day one of your cruise for any food allergies or sensitivities, and they'll make sure to take care of you for the entire length of your cruise. For the buffet, remember there's outside seating that's readily available and you won't have the crowds. For specialty dining, you've got to try Le Petit Chef at least once. Also, book your specialty dining as soon as you possibly can online prior to your cruise. Treat yourself to one of the higher level specialty restaurants for a special occasion. You will not forget it. Other complimentary venues on board, make sure you try out that Mass Grill. It's a great place for a poolside burger. And the Spa Cafe has a lot of light items for breakfast and for lunch. So make sure you check that out. Cafe El Baccio is a great place to sneak in an afternoon dessert. And that is the place where all of the wonderful celebrity cookies are hidden. Thanks so much, everybody, for stopping in today and learning all about dining on celebrity cruises. If you found this video helpful in any way, please do give it that thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. Again, thanks for showing up today. And as always, I'll see you again soon.